Hi, this is Gregor, and I'm currently working on the Expense Report Refactoring Kata. In the last episode, I covered the code with tests, so we are now ready to start the refactoring. There are lots of things we can improve in this code, so where should we start? Our challenge is to add a new expense type lunch, and it should have a limit of 2000. So I would like to focus on the refactorings that make this specific change easier. Not all refactorings will make adding a new type easier. Different refactorings will have different outcomes and address different problems. For example, I could refactor the code to make it easier to add a JSON printer, but it might not make it easier to add a new expense type. I think you got the idea. So let's try and focus only on the refactorings that reduce the scope of change for adding a new expense type. So let's try and find the code that would have to change for adding a new type and encapsulate it and see where it goes from there. And I would have to change this code, this code, this code, and this code. This condition really checks whether the expense is a meal, so it can add it to the meal expenses. So I could extract a method and move this to the expense class and encapsulate it there. And I can do the same thing for all the behaviors. And in this way, reduce the scope of code that I would have to look at and change when I added my new type. So let's start with that. Let's extract this piece of code. This checks whether it is a meal. Let's give it the proper name. This gets the name of the expense. So I will call this get name. This checks whether the expense is over a certain limit. So I will call this is over limit. And we can inline this. And now I have extracted all these behaviors that belong to the expense. So let me move them to the expense with a move refactoring. Move it to the expense, yes. Same with the get name, move it to the expense. Same with the meal, move it to the expense. So I move the behavior to the data where it operates on. And in this way, I already reduced the scope of change for adding a new type. I only have to look at this expense class. I only have to deal with the expense class. And I'm not anymore interested in the print report method when adding a new type. I think we can even add some, uh, I think we can even remove some empty lines here. Yeah. Doesn't really matter. It's fine this way. So, but probably we can do better than this and reduce the scope that we have to change even further. So, what about the name here? The name is dependent on the expense type, it, it's coming from the expense type. So, I can probably even move this method to the expense type. What about the meal? Also, the meal is, ex is um, dependent on the expense type. I will move it to the expense type. Is over limit is also dependent on the expense type. So I will also remove, I will also move this to the expense type. And again, I have reduced the scope 
that I would have to change adding a new expense a little bit. But probably we can do even better than that. So far I only did automated refactorings so I, I knew they were safe so I didn't really run my tests but now it gets a little bit more interesting because I have to change the code manually and now I really have to rely on my tests. Let me first run my tests one time to see if we are still in the green. Yes, we are in the green. Now it gets interesting because I would like to move the name to this type and thus replace this switch statement, this condition with a, a polymorphism. So let me add a new field here, private final string name. Now I have to add the constructor parameter. And now I have to add this in here. Let's give every value or every type its own line. And now that we have that, we can replace all of this, I think, with the name. And if we run our code, it still works. So we got rid of this whole condition by just adding a new field to the type. Let's take a look at the is meal. So it seems that these two types are a meal. And it does this with a condition and um, we can do better than that. Let's add a new field. Private final boolean meal. And let's also add this to the constructor arguments. And I will say dinner and breakfast are a meal. But the car rental is not. And this way, I should be able to remove this with the field, meal. Run the tests, and we're still in the green. Now let's take a look at the ease over limit. So here it just has different amounts of limit for different types. Again, it's dependent on the type. And it's interesting that one of these types doesn't have a limit. So what, what do we do about this? I mean, what we could do is we could again add a field here. Let's call it limit. Add constructor argument again. And Let's set those limits. So for dinner, we have 5,000. And for breakfast, we have 1,000. But what is the limit for car rental? There is no limit. But we can take the maximum possible amount, which is integer.max value, and then it won't have a limit. And this should allow us to reduce this logic to just check whether expense.amount is greater than our limit. Let's see if this works and run the tests. And we are in the green. Now let's take a look at this and remind ourselves on the task that we have, the task to add a new type lunch, which is a meal, and it has a limit. And now it's really easy to add that type. So I think to make this change easy, we're pretty much done with the refactoring and we are ready to test drive the change. Of course, after this change, we can do further gold plating and do more refactoring even to make this code even better for future change. But for this task at hand, 
I think the refactoring we've done so far is good enough. So let me commit that. I hope you liked the video and the next one we're gonna test drive the change and maybe do a little bit of gold plating afterwards. I'm Gregor, see you next time.